promise there'll be some action soon. Honest. Problem with a huge map is it delays you making contact in a violent way with everyone else. But a huge map is a world size map. The small maps just don't feel like a world. I like playing on a huge map. Everyone I know likes playing on a huge map. And I think if you give them time to grow to as big as they will grow, then your enemies are going to get, give you about the best challenge on a huge map. Smaller maps, I mean the large map's okay, but anything smaller than that and you bump into them so quickly, I personally end up finishing them off with very low level tech. And yeah, it just seems easier. It's like you, you catch them on the hop before they're fully developed. Oh, hello supply crawler. Hello complete revolution in the way absolutely everything is done. Now... Supply crawlers. Revolutionary. There are those who would argue that the incompetent AI doesn't know how to use supply crawlers and their three magical powers properly. So it's a bit ex exploity for a human player to do massive amounts of cool stuff with supply crawlers. Now that doesn't apply to a game with other humans who might be feeling free to use them particularly a PvP game where you're going to get your butt kicked by someone who uses them if you don't know how to use them because you decided long ago that they were naughty and bad and that you won't ever use them. Do you know what the three powers of the supply crawler are if you've summarily judged them and don't use them? So. My concern is that I'd stop using them out of fairness to my poor AIs here and then I'd get used to that and then I'd... It's not so much that I'd forget how to use the multiplier, it's, I think it's important that you do learn how to use them and use them in multiplayer before you then decide to increase your personal difficulty by eliminating them from your style. So I could avoid using them to increase the difficulty and it would increase the difficulty a lot, but this is how I would play a PvP game for the most part. A slightly less paranoid version. Human players are so crazy that I'd probably be doing a lot of Maybe all my psych or would be on the coast looking for boats, I don't know. But I'm feeling quite relaxed because, quite frankly, my opposition are a bunch of chumps in the form of the AI. I mean, Transcend and Aggressive AI. Aggressive AI is just super amusing. All the, the peaceful hippies just love declaring vendetta on you. It's glorious. But they're not completely stupid at Transcend. I've seen them do genuinely tricky and clever things, but I mean, they have little air defense, little side defense. Um, they're not too bad on probe team defense. They can sort of sort that out. You can overwhelm it, but they sort that out. It's Yes, they're flawed, and 
I've got a randomly generated map that is very islandy. I mean, there could have been a lot more land than this, and there could have been a lot more of it joined together than this on an average landmass map. I mean, the Earth falls within that average landmass spectrum. A lot more dirt above the waterline here on Earth. But this is what I got. So, invading me with boats, not something they're super good at. They're not completely shabby on Transcend with their aircraft. They can be quite an injury with their helicopters eventually, and of course once they get grab ships it's sort of distance is an inconvenience rather than a restriction on your ability to attack. So many staplings, so many years of sanctions. More pods, more of the same. Well, I don't just have a handful of cities and I'm doing interesting things with them. I've got a buttload of cities and I'm doing the same stuff over and over with them. But, if you're playing a PvP game of this, I would highly recommend doing this. Particularly, I mean, if it's a seven... It's going to be rare that you have a seven humans play a game, but you have a decent number of humans in the game, and they're the only important players having a bunch of sanctions which aggravate the AI, the few AI players you have in the game probably isn't going to have much of an impact on the whole affair compared to how well you get along with those humans and just how crazy they are as a general rule your human opponent will be paranoid of you and quite likely to gas you or nuke you or do something horribly horrible to you so it tends to be a, a bit of a case of gotcha first build up some nukes build up some gas have every horrible weapon ready at your disposal and unleash them with the slightest provocation merciless affair but hopefully against the AI this should be a crushing regime I feel like I'm pretty much on top of things it'll be interesting when I start meeting people they'll take an instant dislike to me because A I'm Miriam and B they're on aggressive AI which ruins their personalities. You, you don't get a soft-hearted Deirdre who's just all about the greenness and if you're green she loves you. Time to save this. No, with, with angry personalities they're all 100% angry all of the time. It's most amusing. So check out my graphs, I'm going to wind this up. How's my dominance going? What position am I in? Check me out. Second or third. That's what I'm talking about. Bootstrap levitation. The power of the grid will be continued. <laughs>